there, Julia here welcome to Trending News. Let's see why The Acolyte is starting to be the worst Star Wars series. Let's begin. Power one. Yes, yes. <laughs> the Acolyte Episode 3 Review One of the most disappointing Star Wars episodes ever made. The third episode of Disney's The Acolyte is an embarrassment to the entire franchise, but the same could be said for so much Star Wars these days outside of Andor and the first two seasons of The Mandalorian. Here's one exchange between two characters in this latest episode. May, the Jedi are bad. Osha, the Jedi are good. Later, the same two characters the twin protagonist, antagonists of the story, as children in this flashback episode say to one another, what have you done? What have you done? I want to ask Disney the same question. What have you done? This entire episode is a bad joke. We learned that May and Osha lived with their mothers in a society of witches, all of whom are female. It appears they were conceived using the Force. Osha and May fight with one another constantly and are very, very irritating throughout the episode. Osha wants to leave her people and, and May wants to stay. When the Jedi show up and ask to test the girls for their Force powers, they agree to fake not having any, but Jedi Master Saul convinces Osha not to lie and she says she wants to be a Jedi and leave with them, against her mother's wishes. May is upset and threatens to kill her sister. It seems clear that there's more to the story. I'm confused about the entire motivation of May, who wants revenge on the Jedi, but is actually the one responsible for killing everybody if, that is, anyone is actually dead, even if she didn't burn everyone. The show had something like $100 million, and I cannot for the life of me tell where any of it has gone, so shame. What a disappointment! Well, see you in the next video.